Mobius facility. As we suspected, this is where Amon's hybrid armies are born. The operation is fueled by three power cores. Destroying them will destabilize the facility and allow us to annihilate the remaining structure. If I establish our nexus point on the outer edge of the platform, the Templar can fight their way in. But there are no ground paths and few minerals. Fortunately, our carriers are ready now. With their help, I might have a chance. Let us proceed. This platform has been locked by Mobius security protocols. Hmm. They cannot be too difficult to decipher. If I gain access, I should be able to move the platform to areas with additional minerals. Well, at least there's enough resources here to get started. Access to the controls. The platform is operational. These navigational controls in the upper right of the command display will allow me to move it toward additional resources. The enemy will not be far, though. I should send some ships to scout ahead before we relocate. She's approaching our nexus. Amon has awoken. We sleep no more. The battle is won. Justice is served. Ah, Azul. Upgrade complete. Let us attack. Nexus is under attack. May I? Victory awaits. The skies beckon. Oh, 
heeding the call. Honor through valor. Hachum Toritas. Shokov. Difficulty repelling the hybrid on the Spear of a Doom. Have you located their stasis chambers? My scans show two chambers nearby. They appear to run on Solarite. We could use it more than ever. is under attack.
depleted. Energy must have must awaiting the call. Justice is served. the enemy. Some experiments should never be done. Thank <laughs> you. 
Core energy reserves dropping to 66%. Excellent work, Face Smith. Press on.
us attack! Your warriors have engaged the enemy.
Doom's power grid is nearly offline, Hierarch. There is only one more core. Well done, Carax. The attacks on the ship have slowed. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Your will starts in. May I be of service? Your warriors have engaged the enemy. from the Spear of Adun. Yes, I believe I have found them. It is no matter. We will not be deterred. The final power core has been destroyed. We must strike now. Hyrule, is the Spear of Adun secure? Yes, we repelled the invaders before they could reach the solar core. Our weapon systems are yours to command. It was my honor to serve. Fire! Amon's hybrid facility lies in ruin. His hybrid armies shattered. 
the briefest of moments, we lingered on the cusp of ruin. We endured because of the actions of one brave Templar. In the midst of darkness, I have seen a light. I have seen defiant hope. Carax of the Kalai, you were born a craftsman from a cast of engineers. But now, you stand as a warrior. Today, it is clear that the Age of Casts has come to its end. Today, we must all become Templar. ship subsystem. You can review it in the solar core now. Fires are impressed with your leadership. They clamor to strike at the heart of Iman. Friend Phoenix, they are impressed equally with yours. Yes, they have chosen to follow my command. Leadership is new for me, as is everything else. I had not intended to become Hierarch. I questioned the decision. There had to be someone more worthy. Do not fall into the same mental traps I did, my friend. The purifiers follow you for a reason, as the Dalam now follow me. Self-doubt will only cloud your decision-making. You speak truth, Hierarch. You speak as a leader. The deeds of a Templar suit you, Carax. For the entirety of my life, I have given myself to the art of creation. My war has been one of design, a battle against obstacles that hinder optimization. I am a faith smith, and will always be my first calling. But, as times change, those who were not born true Templar can become so through their deeds. Then ready yourself, Templar. You will be needed. Our scouts are reporting the Dominion is attempting to fight back the Golden Armada. Despite their efforts, multiple systems have fallen. Capital ships have docked within the Spear of Adun. They await your preference. The Taldarim Wrathwalker Robotics are now online, Hierarch. wishes to hide. While his brethren, the Zelnaga, slumbered through the millennia, Amon and his followers descended upon Ire. And he uplifted our people. They ruled over us as teachers, as gods. He changed us, manipulated our essence. But we grew beyond his control. He and his followers fled to Zaris to create the Zerg. The hybrid by the culmination of his efforts. False Zelnaga, created in his image. They... we must... Rohana, this is too dangerous. You cannot go on like this. I must, Hierarch. It is my duty to know the truth, to bear it. I know now, this is my purpose. 
Artanus. Oh, such hubris. To think that they could control what they did not understand. Oh, it's always hubris with the Terrans. Get too close to a black hole, and it will crush you. We once thought the same of the Tal'Darim, Alarak. We believed you mindless and obedient slaves. And we thought you were weak, impure, and unworthy. And yet now we stand together. Perhaps we acted too rashly with Mobius Core. There may have been a different way. Oh, Templar, is there ever a moment when your people do not doubt themselves? No, Artanis. Extermination was the only course. The hybrid leave nothing to save. Revenscar has fallen, and through its death, the Templar have been born anew. But the matter of the Tal'Darim still concerns me. Siding with Alarak is indeed a risk. Tassadar, old friend, what would you do? Zeratul, would you have me take such a chance? The answer matters little. If this alliance can weaken Amon's armies, then it is a chance that must be taken. if they are to be accepted. We are in orbit above a hostile world with an imposing fleet, and you speak of preparation? I intend to depose Malash, the ruler of an entire people, and bring them under my thrall. You will aid me, and in return, I will remove the Tal'Darim from this conflict. That was our bargain. To do this, the ritual must be carried out as tradition demands. This bargain grows less appealing by the moment. I've been analyzing the Tal'Darim's war machines. Their technology is cloned from Kali designs. Aside from the construction materials, there is little deviation. How is this feat possible? There have always been legends of vessels that set out into the cosmos and never returned. Of attack forces gone missing. I have heard these stories. Whispers of angry spirits of our past that strike when you are most vulnerable. Imagine if all this time we have been fighting an unknown war against the Tal'Darim. It would explain a great deal. How sad. They are thieves, never knowing the joys of their own invention. How despicable. What possible source of void energy is emanating from Slain? Hybrid? I shudder to think what lurks below. The Golden Armada has devastated the Scepter, Artanis. I know we cannot engage them directly, but this must not continue. There are things I understand about the Tal'Darim. Their zeal, their desire to appease their god. What I cannot understand is why Amon would cast aside his loyal allies so easily. Why he would betray their sacred trust and treat them as fodder. I have felt his grand ambitions, Artanis. The dark truth is, Amon wishes no allies aside from his hybrid. He believes he's ending the cycle of violence, but he only brings about an eternity of abomination. I wish to know more about this Rakshir, your ritual combat. To understand Rakshir, you must first understand the sacred chain of ascension that ultimately links to Amon. Each of us is shackled to his will, and of the will of he who is in the link above. And yet, 
there is a way to ascend. By blade and blood. Any Taldarim can usurp the position of the one above his station. It is through this ritual that Amon's ascendants are assured to be the most capable to carry out his will. Then Malash is the most powerful of your people? He is considered so. But he has yet to face 